this video, I want to talk about the time entry system that we've built into FM Starting Point, starting with version 4.3 and later. Over the years, FM Starting Point has been improved to support businesses which actually resell product, but also improved to support service-based businesses. Now, if you have staff that come in and they simply come to work and they work for eight hours a day and you don't really keep track of what they're doing during the day in terms of the individual hours that they spend on various projects, then probably this video isn't too interesting to you. But if you have multiple projects, i.e. multiple jobs, we use the word jobs and projects synonymously here, and you need to keep track of the individual hours that each staff works on each of the projects so you can bill accordingly, then this video and this upgraded version of FM Starting Point is really going to be exciting for you. So with all current shipping versions of FM Starting Point, the timesheet system has been enhanced and improved. So on the timesheet itself, individual staff can log time entries to different projects that are managed and run within the project module of FM Starting Point. So it's important to understand that fundamentally we're going to have multiple jobs or projects and that we want our staff to actually log time against these projects. Well, it's important to make sure that we actually go into the staff database right here and make sure that we add the staff. Now, this is just sample data right here. Make sure you add the staff into the database so the system knows all the available staff that may create timesheets and time entries within the system. Then, of course, you have your projects, which are all set up. The next thing in the system that you might want to think about is going into preferences and specifying the kinds of timesheets that you might want to have entered. Now, we're still improving this screen a little bit here at the time that we're shooting this video, but the idea is that you could set your timesheets up so the timesheet applies to a weekly period or a biweekly period or a monthly period. Say you have a timesheet that runs for the entire month. It just depends how you want to do it. So we could set up like a monthly timesheet, and the dates here automatically calculate, showing that the pay period begins on the 1st and runs to the 31st. Although I could specify that we begin on the 5th. As you can tell, we're still straightening this screen out. In fact, we're getting all the tabs here all straightened away because we have so many preference tabs. All this being said, the idea is that this is the preference settings for your timesheet. You're going to go home and go to timesheets, and then you can create a new timesheet for a staff. You're going to say, find the staff. You can select the staff from your active staff. It automatically defaults to the next timesheet pay period. Now, of course, you can override these dates here if you want, but this is the default recommended dates right here. And then this is where it gets really cool. You can actually add line items. So I add a line item. It's defaulting to today. I can specify the project I'm looking for. And I can select the project right here. And I could either specify a start time or stop time. Or if the person just knows that they spent 2.5 hours, then they could just log that in here like this. It just depends what your business rules are. If they want to actually log start and stop time and breaks and things like that, it'll support that. Or just put your hours override in just to input a straight number of hours that you want to bill. Also, the comments here are really handy. I recommend that your staff do this. That way the customer knows what activities were performed during this two hours. Zip, done. Next, you say done. And as you can see right here, this time entry has been input straight into the timesheet here. But it also relationally is connected to this person here. And it's also important to note that it's also connected to the project right here. So if we go back to projects and we look for the project, which is this one right here, I can see that this is the time that I just put in just there. Now, if I want to see more detail on it, I can click here and I can also make edits here if I want. Say that I figure out that, well, really... It was uh, 2.2 because you know, I logged too much time or something like that. We can adjust it right here as well, and I can say done. And so we actually have the ability to add or edit time entries at the project level as well. Now, keep in mind, as you start to roll this out or want to deploy this capability within your business, you're going to want to come up with the rules and policies regarding how your staff enter time, who can edit the time, and at what point the time becomes locked down. 
Now, we haven't locked things down or made things to the point where there's a high degree of security because each business will take FM starting point and adapt it somewhat differently to their needs. So just keep that in mind. We're giving you the basic time entry system that allows you to log your time to individual projects. And then every billing period, you can actually come over here and say, create new invoice for this customer for the non-invoice time entry. And as you can see, this time entry right here has not been invoiced because there's no invoice number right here. So you just press this button right here. It's going to tell you you have 2.2 hours for this amount of work, and you're going to bill the customer this, and you say yes. And the system automatically creates a new invoice for that project. Notice the project information is right here. The invoice has been created. The time entry was put right in here. So it's pretty slick. Now, if you had five or 10 or 20 different staff, all their time would have been rolled together into a single time entry right here. That's just the way we've constructed this for you. And of course, from here, you can print the invoice. Then you can go back to projects and actually reference the invoice that you created. Notice if I go back to projects and I go to timesheet details, and there is now an invoice number here. So this line item has actually been invoiced. If I press the button again, all timesheet entries have already been invoiced. So in summary, that's the staff and project time entry and management system. That's part of FM starting point 4.3 or later.